Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful washer pendants. Super easy. I found them at the secondhand store. They're huge, they're about two inches, but they look so beautiful. I will have the list of all the supplies I used in the info box below. These are the star of the show. They are washer pendants. I mean, <laughs> they are washers and they're about two inches. I took an emery board and I sanded the rough edges on the inside of the washer and the outside of the washer just to make sure nothing was too sharp and you know scratch our skin when we're wearing them i also sanded the very top to give the washer some tooth because we are going to use some gesso on top to make the beautiful designs once i was done i wiped it down with some alcohol so to make this easier to decorate what I did is I used a label and uh, I placed it upside down and put some um, little pieces of another label to hold keep it in place and I placed a washer on top of the sticker and this will let you work on the washer without having to touch it and it has a nice little grip on it so that you can go crazy on the washer so what I did was I layered some gesso on top, some regular white gesso. What I did was I layered it and as I was layering, I would let it dry in between layers about a minute or so, just so it could get a little tacky and I could build a nice design on top of it so that we could get more of a texture, of a textured look on the washer. And if you keep on uh, pouncing your brush on top, of the washer like so, you will get this beautiful design. So put it to the side to dry. For the second washer, so what I did is I gave it a layer of gesso. And then with a toothpick, a sword toothpick, I gave it a whole bunch of wiggly lines. Now if you change your mind, you can just go over the area that you want to fix or you want to erase with some more gesso. So I went back in and I gave uh, the pendant more wiggly lines. And you have to use Prismacolor coloring pencils because they are creamy and beautiful and the colors are very intense and I love that. Prismacolor are the best for this type of design that we're trying to accomplish. All I did was color the washer. I'm building the color slowly. Just layer the color on top of the color and you will see some intense color coming through because the creaminess of the pencil will fall into the little nooks and crannies. Now for this design, I used yellow and violet. You can use any color you'd like, any color combination, but I thought this would be super pretty next to each other since violet and yellow just complement each other, in my opinion, beautifully. For the next step, I use some black eyeshadow. This is Jeffree Star Black Rainbow, which I love. And all I did was layer some of the eyeshadow on top, and that's just to give, to give the washer more, the design more depth. All of uh, the nook and crannies are highlighted if uh, you use some kind of dark background. So that's what I did used eyeshadow just to give it more dimension so it should look something like this when you're done now to give it a little more pizzazz a little more glam what i did is i used some gold eyeshadow from jeffree star as well and i just gave it a nice thick layer on top oh, that looks so beautiful and then using some eileen's jewelry pendant gel pour some on top and with a brush i moved the gel all around just to make it even and it's okay if there's a little bit of bubbles in here because that will just give the pendant some character okay for the second pendant what i used oh i think this is uh, burnt orange 
and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna color it in then we are going to add some black eyeshadow and then some gold eyeshadow and then cover it with Eileen's jewelry pendant gel I used burnt orange red and then blue And then with the black eyeshadow, I give it a nice little layer just to make all the designs pop. And since these are thinner, it's a thinner type of texture, I did have to work it in a little bit. It should look something like this. Now we're adding the gold eyeshadow. I love how this looks so much. Now we're gonna add the jewelry pendant gel again. And same thing with the little mini brush, spread it all around just to make sure that everything's even. And don't worry if it falls in the middle or falls off the edge, you can always sand it away. Okay, and you see this one has the lettering on the side. Since I got them at a secondhand store, I didn't have much choice, but if you get it at a hardware store, you may choose one that doesn't have all the stamped lettering. But I wanted to show you that you can cover that with the gesso. You just have to give it plenty of layers and then concentrate on covering the letters. For this pen, I'm not going to show you how I did it, but I just wanted to show you the how you did the texturing on it because it is a little more intense I want to say the texture is thicker and it's more pronounced this is what the end result is I used a blue and green then I covered it with the black eyeshadow and then gold and then I used the jewelry pendant gel didn't want to bore you with you know, the same concept over and over again. So for the background, the reason I do it at the, at the last, um, that's this is the last step per se, it's because uh, since I do use a sticker to hold the washer down while I'm working on the top, on the top part of the washer, if once I, I used to do the this first with the nail polish, and what happened is when I took it off the sticker, or the tape to hold it in place while I'm decorating it or working on it, all the nail polish would peel off or would stay stuck on the sticker. So I decided to do this at the, at the very end. And then I can choose a complementary color for the back instead of doing the color first in the back and then choosing a design on top. Don't forget to cover the edges of the washer and the inside circle of the washer. Now I had some of these that I found at a secondhand store. They're beautiful, but you know, I didn't know what I was gonna do with them, and this is the perfect project because it, they just complement the washer. The washer design with this necklace, just uh, to me, it looks beautiful. And so I, this is the way I knotted it, and all I did was just loop it through the washer, and then I went to, opened it in the back, then I gave it a couple knot, one knot in the front, and then I flipped it back so that I could knot it. To keep the knot in place, I used some nail polish. Just cut off the remaining part of the strings, and there you have it. Now, if you don't have a necklace like the one that you see here, you weren't lucky enough to find one or you don't want to buy one, I got a whole bunch of thread. I, I cut a bunch of, uh, I think it was about eight or 10 pieces of thread. Then I just looped it like so on the pendant. I knotted the, the tip of the two of the strings or the makeshift necklace. Then trim to make them look nice and even and neat. Then I took one of the pieces of the necklace. I made a loop, then I uh, looped the other side inside the loop. Does that even make sense? And then I just worked that knot to the very top and those two little knots are going to prevent the thread from coming undone. So that's what the pendants look like up close, nice and dry. 
This is kind of like snake skin. I love it. This one's more muted. This is a more conservative look, I want to say, but I still love it because the colors are just amazing with the gold eyeshadow. And this is the very last one. This is the mountainous one. This is the, the washer that had the lettering on it. As you can see, no lettering. You can't see any lettering coming through. And it is a thicker, more, more textured look. If you want to see more up close pictures, you can go to my Instagram and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can find out what else I'm going to be doing next week. So thank you. Bye.